Hello, this is Survival Guyver, and today is a, I'm showing you a set of gloves that I keep in the car for the winter season, um, for all sorts of use, especially emergency use. Uh, this goes on the, uh, this goes with my stuff with the uh, wool blanket as well. I would like to show you these outside, but it is 9 degrees outside with a 40 mile an hour wind with a 60, um, 60 mile an hour peak breeze or wind, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's really, really cold with the wind chill, and the camera does not want to work in this cold weather. Uh, checking the instructions on the camera, it says not to bring below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and, you know, negative 10 or negative 15 is a problem. It just zaps the battery. So, my apologies for doing this indoors, but, uh, we we'll, won't have to deal with the, uh, tripod moving as much, and all the excess noise and the wind. You may just hear my computer in the background. So these are Wells Lamont work gloves. These are the uh, Hydra Hides. Uh, I think these are Hydra Hides 865s is the model number. They are a full cow leather, cow hide leather winter glove. Right? So these are really, really nice. And they're not super expensive. Um, these are not for dexterity uses. You, there's so much insulation on the inside of these. Um, if you try to do something that requires uh, precision um, grasping, this is not it. Um, so let me show you here. I'll throw this on my hand here. So it's a nice glove, right? So it's all leather. Except for a couple little pieces here. This is a wrist strap so you can tighten the glove on the back. It has a nice large Sleeve on the back so you can go over your jacket, keep all the snow and everything out. Um, you can see it sitting there on mine, but the reason for that is I don't have mine buttoned all the way. My jacket here. So let's see, we have the back of the glove is 150 grams of insulate and 100 grams in the palm. And as I said, uh, so this is a large. This fits nice and tight on my hand. Um, the thumb has about mm, yay amount of insulation towards the end. But like all the other fingers, there's a lot of padding in them. Um, these are not for use with touch items, like touch phones. You're not going to simply be able to hit something with it. You would actually have to take your hand out of the glove. But this is more for use... Uh, Say you're stuck on the side of the road, maybe something came off your vehicle, and you can at least protect your hands. Um, changing a tire. You know, this will be fine for uh, lug nuts and like a tire iron and a jack, um, but I wouldn't do anything precision with it, like um, doing stitches or writing your name or uh, trying to light a match, because there's no way you'll be able to do that. You won't even be able to use a lighter with these, unless it's a really big lighter. Um, I thought maybe I had one here to check, but I don't. Um, so, recommended, you know, like if you're shoveling, um, if you're doing kind of any kind of shoveling of that nature, um, there's so much padding in here, you'll probably never feel the cold through this. Um, they are water resistant, as regular water resistant as leather is. And uh, you may see this little plastic thing on the side here. I'll show you exactly what that's for. Let me take the glove off. That's so you can put your gloves together and not lose them. Well, at least you'll lose them as a pair instead of an individual item. Put that in there. And now they're together. So you can throw them in the back of your trunk. You can leave it. Um, in my case, I have a uh, organizer in the back with my winter supplies in it. Um, you can obviously throw them on your dresser, throw them back to the ATV, whatever, snowmobile. It's a good work glove for very cold temperatures. But work as in, you know, large items, maybe cutting down a tree with an axe, splitting firewood, grabbing firewood so you don't rip up your hands. Um, changing a car tire, as I said, or, um, you know, helping somebody shovel 
clean out around fire hydrants, things of that nature. Um, they are work gloves. They're meant for work. If you try to do anything with tedious dexterity, they are not for that. Um, these are actually pretty good price. I believe they're about $35, $40 on Amazon. It took me a while to find them on Amazon because um, Wells Lamont makes a lot of gloves and I couldn't figure out what the uh, model was. And I've had these for a year, maybe. No, less than that. I think I got them for Christmas. <laughs> um, although I, I bought them and gave them to a family member to give to me for Christmas. So, um, yeah, they're probably three or four months old. Um, so I got them specifically for the car for emergency use and for when I go help my dad uh, on his property because he's got a lot of property, uh, cleaning up trees and things of that nature. So I know it seems kind of stupid to have gloves in a car, especially heavy-duty gloves. Um, but, uh, you know, it's for your protection. This is large size, by the way. So it says here, shell 100% cowhide leather. Lining is 100% polyester. Insulation is 100% 3M Thinsulate. 100% polyester. Made in Cambodia. Something else not made in China. Oh, there's the model number, 865. All right. Um, it's nice to find stuff that's not made in China. Um, so that's about it. It's just, you never know when you need a good set of winter work gloves. So if you like this, please press like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be showing you more about what's in my winter kit as well because I have a um, tarp -a -lod that's got a um, reflective backing on it. I have um, some special drinks and food in there too, just in case. Uh, jumper cables, snow shovel, all sorts of things. Um, I'm hoping to do that when it's not snowing out on Monday and Tuesday, but we'll see. Um, so thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. And thank you for watching. Have a glorious day and be safe out there.